We know that wildfires are terrible for animals, but Australia's 2019-2020 bushfire season was particularly devastating. Billions of animals were in the path of the wildfires and untold and as yet unknown numbers of them perished. Once a fire front has passed, the peril hasn't passed with it. Animals left in the burnt landscapes have no shelter, limited food, and the predators know that they are vulnerable and exposed. Cats and foxes have been known to travel from hundreds of kilometres away to fire grounds because they know that the hunting is going to be so good there. So what do our wildlife need? They need homes. We're really familiar with the concept of bird boxes, bird feeders, and even bee hotels. Some people put up possum boxes, but we need something that works just as well for animals on the ground. Things like our native bandicoots, antichinus, and small rodents. Other researchers have trialed making chicken wire tunnels and putting them up after a fire has passed. And the animals seem to really like them. They recognize that they're safer in there and they start using them really quickly. But the problem is that these tunnels are really permanent. They're heavy structures. You can cause extra damage when you put them in place and more damage again when you take them out. So we are trying something new and exciting. We're calling them habitat pods. They're made of recycled cardboard and they're delivered as flat pack sheets that you fold into a three-dimensional structure once you get them to the site. They're flat packed homes for animals. They're lightweight, so they can easily be transported to even the most remote sites. And they're modular, so you can put one down or you can put 50 of them down and connect them to make any kind of shape or size structure that you need at that particular site. Best of all, they're designed to biodegrade over about 12 months. So once the vegetation has grown back and around and through the pods and they're no longer needed, they will have disappeared without a trace. There's nothing that you need to go back and remove. We are now moving to testing them in the field to make sure that they work the way we think they will and to see how the animals use them, which animals use them and when they use them. We hope that by connecting them into long strings of interconnected modules, animals will be able to move through them and away out of the dangerous burnt zones and into unburnt vegetation. We really hope that these structures will reduce the hunting success of foxes and cats and protect our native wildlife. We think they're an exciting idea. They're flat packed homes for wildlife that can be quickly and easily deployed after a fire to protect our native animals from predators. We expect they'll really help with the persistence and population recovery of native fauna in burnt landscapes. We really think that they will be a game changer for protecting our wildlife after fires.